Welcome to this new series about this awesome new framework called React Native. Well, most of you may have heard about React Native but have, for whatever reason, not given it a try yet. Well, React Native is a JavaScript framework that lets you build cross-platform mobile apps. Okay, but you're thinking there are already other cross-platform frameworks like Ionic, Titanium, Mobile Angular, jQuery, Sencha Touch, and the list goes on. Why would I need another framework? If you guys have tried any of those frameworks, you will know that their performance is nowhere close to a native app. That is because they are hybrid apps or HTML5 apps, and most of them run the app inside a web wrapper, which is just like running an app in a web browser with some additional native features. There is no way that app can match the performance of a native app. This is where React Native is different. It uses the same fundamental UI building blocks as a regular iOS and Android app, but it lets you put them together just using JavaScript. So React Native by itself is extremely powerful and overall quite easy to use. The initial learning curve for people who are not familiar with JavaScript can be a little daunting, but once you get a hang of it, trust me, the results are extremely satisfying. However, what if I told you it could be even easier to start building your React Native apps? There is something that can make things even easier for you. Welcome Expo. So I just told you React Native was awesome. Then why Expo? The guys at Expo knew this would be a common question they would have to answer and have a nice write-up that I'll walk you through. So what is the difference between Expo and React Native? You can consider Expo as like Rails for React Native, or Laravel for PHP, or Django for Python. Lots of things are just set up for you, so it's quicker to get started and on the right path. One of the biggest selling points with Expo is you don't need Xcode or Android Studio. You just write JavaScript using whatever text editor you're comfortable with, and you don't need to get into any of the native platforms to make any changes to the settings. The Expo XDE does that for you out of the box. And it is also supported for all three platforms, Mac, Windows, and Linux. A few other features are that it has support for both iOS and Android. In React Native, what you have to do is you have to write, though you can write all the code in JavaScript, you do have to write them in separate files for iOS and Android. In case of Expo, that restriction is removed. You just write your code in one file and it can be used in both Android and iOS. Secondly, Expo has their own push notification server. We'll dig into this in the future videos and I'll show you how easy it is to send push notifications. They have their own Facebook login feature which makes it extremely easy to log into Facebook. Instant updating. For all of you who have developed any native apps, you know that it is a pain to build your project and recompile it after you make a change. In the case of Expo, it works just like you're making a website. You save your code and it updates on your real mobile phone, not even on the simulator. You can test the app directly on your device and it will update directly on your device via your Wi-Fi. Asset management is another big thing which is helpful when you put your app out into the app stores because all your images, videos, fonts, etc. are stored in the cloud and not directly in your app. Also, Expo is really, really active in updating to the latest releases of React Native, and there are very few cases in which you'll be lagging behind the latest update. One small downside, which might not be a downside for people just starting out with React Native is that you cannot dig down deep into the native code and write native code for your app. That is, everything that you write will be in JavaScript and the modules that are available with Expo. This I feel is a blessing in disguise because when you're starting out, you don't want too many options. You can build extremely advanced apps just using JavaScript and Expo. In fact, that's the reason why we went, got into React Native development so that we would not have to write any native code. Also, Expo is completely free and their plan is to keep it that way indefinitely. They've kept it open source from day one that's a good enough reason to believe that it will remain free for the future. I think we have enough said and it's time to dig in to start building amazing apps with React Native and Expo.